Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Pi Hole and Unbound on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS, which is a third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over Home Labs or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So, Go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So, let's get back to your registered programming. So, Pi Hole is a black hole for the internet advertisements. So, it blocks ads based on the network level and the DNS. Uh, easy to install, a resolute, responsive, lightweight robust, insightful, versatile, scalable, and modern, and then free. So IPv4 and IPv6, a DHP server built in, runs smoothly on minimal hardware, seamless speeds uh, up the feel of everyday browsing by cached uh, DNS queries. So that's a little bit about uh, Pi-hole. Okay, so uh, Unbound is a validating recursive and caching DNS resolver. It it uses the root servers, um, root hints, but it can also use upstream uh, DNS resolvers as well. So we're going to start on Big Bird Docker Images. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go to Pi-hole Unbound, and then Pi-hole uh, sets a setup var.config right here. It directs the Pi-hole DNS1 to the local host in 5353, which is the Unbound. And we're going to go in the Docker file. So we're going to start with PyHole, PyHole 2023 10.0. That's the latest version currently. Um, we're going to set the Debian uh, front, front end to non-interactive. We're going to update the package list and install Unbound. We're going to create the Unbound service directory. And then we're going to create the Unbound service run script right here. So we're going to copy it from Unbound. Uh, run run script right here and then we're going to put it into the etc services dot d unbound run and then we're going to make sure it's executable right here and then we're going to copy the unbound root dot hints to var lib unbound root dot hints for the root ser uh, servers and, and then set we're going to set permissions to unbound unbound on the var lib unbound right here and then we're going to copy the unbound configuration from unbound and unbound.config and then etc unbound and unbound.config. And then we're going to copy the pihole configuration from pihole setup bars.config into etc pihole setup bars.config. And then we're going to set the entry point for S6. And then we're going to set an, a health check for pihole and unbound and to make sure they're coming up correctly. And we have a version file right here to set the uh, current version of what the PyHole image we're using. And then in the Unbound uh, directory is the root hints file. The, 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 this is gotten from the uh, the the uh, GitHub action up here. So if you go into the workflows, you go to PyHole. Uh, it's gotten from the cur curl action right here. So it's going to get it from this, and then it's going to put it into pihole unbound unbound root hints. So, so so it's going to keep it updated when the GitHub action runs. Um, so if you go into unbound config, it's uh, it's a config uh, set set up for the root servers. It, it it is going to listen on all interfaces, and then fifty three fifty three. Um, here's the root hints right here. It's going to have that entity inversion, harden the DNS server against various attacks, and perform prefetching of the closed expired cache entries. It's also going to ensure the privacy of local IP, uh, IP ranges. Also, the unbound run uh, script that runs on the Docker file, it, it's going to start the a S6. Uh, it's going to say the S6 and echo and starting unbound. It's going to set some environment, uh, variables, uh, so, so name, unbound, uh, dynamic variables, and description, uh, the Damien, the PID file, the log directory, the log file, and then the helper. 
It's going to ensure the unbound log directory exists currently right here. It's going to ensure the unbound log file exists right here. Um, so uh, this is the directory and then this is the file actually. So ensure the unbound bi binary is executable. And then it's going to load the environment variable, uh, the environment specific options. And then it's going to uh, set up the ch root and update the root tr trust anchor. It's going to start the unbound right here. So it's going to echo it out and then start it right here. It, it is going to start as an S6 service since, since the pie hole uh, do Docker container uses S6. It's going to simple check to see if the unbound is started. It's going to echo out the unbound started successfully with the PID. It's going to set a trap for the SIG term. And then it's going to wait for the unbound to exit right here. So that's a little bit about the script and the Docker file. So I'm going to go over Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And, um, it's a third-party app store maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. You can stay up to date on the changes it, by, by joining the Big Bear community. And you can uh, suggest apps to be put in here. Um, here's the different apps that are supported. And I did make a how to install Big Bear Cost OS on Cost OS video. But I'm going to be going over that in here too. So, you will need CosOS version 0.4.4 or newer. I'm going to scroll back up to the App Store URL right here. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go over to my CosOS and get the App Store set up. So, now I'm going to start on my CosOS. I'm going to go to App Store. And then I'm going to go to Add Source over here. I'm going to paste it in the URL for the App Store. And then Add. Now we have 128 apps. So, you can go after... Uh, you can go over to the categories once you reload the page and then go back into the app store, go to Big Bear Cost OS, and now you see all the apps that are available in Big Bear Cost OS. So, that's how to get the app store set up. So now we're going to go into Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description. I'm going to go to apps, and then I'm going to scroll down to Pi Hole and Unbound right here. So I'm going to go into Docker Compose. So the name for the Cost OS uh, app is Big Bear Pie Hole Unbound. I'm going to set some services, and the service underneath the service is called App. And then the container name is called Big Bear Pie Hole Unbound. And then we're getting it from Docker Hub because there's no URL before this. Big Bear Tech World and Big Bear Pie Hole Unbound. And then the version tag is 2023.10.0. Container restart policy is unless stopped, so that means that if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart, but if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. Now, I'm going to set some environment variables, and the time zone, you need to set this to your real time zone, and then the web password to log in to PyHole, I, I would ch I change this. The DNS1 is set to the local host, and then 5353 for using Unbound. Uh, there's no secondary DNS. I'm going to set up some volumes, so data, app data, dynamic variable, which is coming from this, the, the name up here, and then etc. So the left side is on the host, and the right side is on etc pie hole. The, the, the right side is on the container. So left is the host, right side is the container. And then now data, app data, dynamic variable, and then dnsmass.d is on the host side and then in the container is etc dns mass.d now i'm going to set some ports so 5353 53, 53, 53 on udp and tcp 67 67 uh, the left side is the host the right side is the container 8080 80, and 10443 and 443 and then 80 and then now i'm going to set some uh cost os specific information to explain the volumes and to explain the ports i'm going to set some specific information to explain the app in the app store so the architecture of what the docker image supports of this one right here is amd64 and arm64 the main 
corresponds with the name of the service up here, app. And then description, tagline, the developer of the do uh, Docker container, Big Bear Tech World, and the author of the Docker Compose, Big Bear Tech World. The icon are right here. And then thumbnail, the title, and then the index of where the web, web UI is going. So, so I'd admin on there. And then the category, so everybody can figure out what apps are coming from Big Bear Cost OS. And then the port map is 8080, and that corresponds up here. So, that's a little bit explanation of the Docker Compose. So now, before we can install PyHole, we need to check if anything's using uh, port 53. So, I'm going to go down to, um, I'm going to start on Big Bear Scripts. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go to Disable DNS Service. And then I'm going to go into the .sh. So it checks for root privileges before it runs the script. The package manager, the package map, and net tools. It updates the package manager. And then it checks for required utilities right here and installs if missing. It then sets the resolve a config file uh, environment uh, uh, variable. And then it lists what's using port 53, if anything's using it. And then it will display the, pro, uh, the the processes of using port 53. And then it will ask if you want to disable systemd resolved. Y for yes and N for no. And if you say no, then it'll abort. It then goes and disables the systemd resolve service. And, the, and then it stops the systemd resolve service. It checks if the port is clear then. And then it... Uh, it checks the current DNS and then it wants you to enter a new DNS or you can go with the default of Cloudflare's 1.1.1.1. And then um, it checks if the DNS resolves correctly. It backs up the resolver file and then it puts it inside of the resolver file of what the user entered. And then it says updated, and then it's done. So that's a little bit about what we'll be using. So I'm gonna go backwards, and I'm gonna go to how, how to use. I'm gonna copy this script, and then I'm gonna go over my cost OS and run it. So now before we install it, we're going to run that script. So we're gonna go to terminal logs, and the default username and password for the Zen board is cost OS, and then cost OS. So you will use your uh, your SSH credentials right here and then connect. Now I'm going to clear it out. And then I'm going to paste in the script to disable the 53 port. And then now it's working. And then now it's showing you that a list of processes that are using the 53 port. I'm going to press Y and continue with return or enter. And then the port 53 is clear now, current DNS, and then enter new DNS. So I'm gonna just go with the default. Now it's done and our port 53 is now clear. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now I'm going to install it. So, I'm going to start on Cos OS, go to the App Store, go to the search box, type in Pi, and then Pi Hole Unbound right here. You know it's coming from Big Bear Cos OS because of the category. I'm going to go into it, and then I'm going to press Install. And then now you can continue in background. And just let it do its thing. What this is doing is it's down the Docker container off of the registry, getting extracted and getting it up with Docker Compose, and then checking if there's a newer image to get uh, off of the registry and then update the local cache. So sometimes this does get stuck. So I'm going to refresh the page. Now we got it up and running. So now I'm going to go over the files. So you can go in the files app. And cost OS makes it extremely easy to look at the files. Then you go into the app data and then Big Bear uh, Pi Hole Unbound. 
you can check mark this. You can download, copy, cut, delete, and cancel. You can also go up to these horizontal dots and download, copy path, rename, cut, copy, share on your network, and then delete. You can go into uh, to it and you can look at your ETC and then you can look at your D a DNS mask. So that's a little bit about the files. So now I'm going to go over the container options. So you can go up to these vertical dots right here and you can open into the web UI. You can set some tips. So this is uh, this is like a notepad. So you just hit the edit button then type in here and then press the save. It'll reload the container and say pie hole and unbound is okay. You can go into settings and you can edit some of these settings and then press the save button. You can also go up here to terminal logs and get a terminal straight into the container. You can also go into the logs and see the logs uh, for the container. And this is great for debugging. You can exit out of here. Now you can check for updates for the current tag. This won't change the tag. And you can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So I'm going to start out on the cost OS dashboard. I'm going to open it. You can open it from here or you can open it from here. I'm going to open it. So um, your password is the whatever your web password environment variable was. So you can see that by going backwards and going to settings and then going to web password here and then copying that one and then going back and opening it and then you can paste it in and sign in. So you can see your query logs, your, your long term data, your, your, your query log, your top list, your groups, clients, domains, the add list. You can add different lists and be able to block different things. So you can disable the blocking. You can set up lo local DNS like DNS records and CNAME records. You can have a bunch of tools to where it di diagnose things, audit logs, tell the pihole.log, tell the ftl.log. You can go into settings and you can see more info. You can see what your DNS upstream is, your upstream DNS servers are. So uh, this is to where you can just check mark these and turn them on and off. Google, Open DNS, Level 3, Komodo, DNS Watch, Quade 9, and Cloudflare. You can also set uh, custom D DNS servers. So we set our unbound right here. And um, so everything's going to the unbound server and going to the root servers. So there's more settings down here and you can set up your own DHP server. Uh, you can change web interface settings right here. You can set up API, the privacy level and then teleporter to back up and restore. So that's how you get Pi-hole and Unbound working. So I just went over step by step on getting Pi-hole and Unbound running on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS third party app store. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.